when would you be ready for your first fight? In this episode, we're going to be going over five different key areas that we need to look for and we need to prepare for before we enter the ring for the first time. But before that, a little word from our IronBot. What's up? This is your teammate IronBot. Take a second to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated with our latest video. And if you'd like to support your channel even further, become a super fan or VIP student to gain access to my most exclusive content including 45-minute weekly workout videos, live streams, early access to YouTube videos, and so much more. Allow me to help you become the champion I know you can be. Enough talking. Let's get on with the video. The first thing that we need to look at is mastering the basics. Very simple. Have you mastered or have been working on your jab? I wouldn't say completely master a technique, of course, because that will take many, many years, but you have a good understanding of your basics, like your jab, your cross, your hook, your low kicks, right? Some basic defense here and there, right? Your body kicks, your knees, all these basics that you will need to be able to use them into the fight. So the first thing is getting past the fundamentals and getting a good understanding of the fundamentals. I know a lot of people, they want to go in there and maybe for the first time, do some spinning techniques, especially when they're starting off, do some spinning, jumping things in the air, especially if they watch too many movies. But at the end of the day, even if you're a professional and you have a hundred fights, the basics and fundamentals are what are going to win you. The fight is what is going to give you the best result. So starting off with a good understanding of your base, your balance, all these things, your footwork, basic footwork, understanding of your weapons and basic defense is going to give you one of the best outcomes when it comes to stepping into the ring. Going off that first criteria, we want to develop our basic defense. Develop your shield, your shield in your eyes, all right? So then that way you're not so scared to take in a hit. Work on shielding. Work on being able to take some damage and take some punishment, all right? It doesn't mean that I want you to go there go to training and then get hurt all the time. No, but we want to trust our shield. We want to be able to condition the bones and muscles to get hit is a little bit different than for example, lifting weights where the muscles get bigger and all this stuff. But when you're taking damage, when you're getting hit, we need to condition the body and bones to be able to get hit a little bit. Of course, you're going to get stronger over the years. But one thing is for certain is that if you have a good defense, if you have a good shield, you're going to be more comfortable attacking, right? But if you're too scared to get hit, then all you're going to be doing is blinking away and you might even get hurt. So we want to develop good defense and a good shield, blocking some low kicks, all right? Making sure that we have our fight base, that we block some kicks, right? We're able to get that shin up there to block some kicks and again, block those, those punches with a nice shield is going to be very helpful for you when you step into the ring for the first time. To get ahead of your opponent, learn one counter, and the counter is going to be for the jab. The jab is one of the most used weapons in any combat striking sport. The jab is being used constantly. So if you can develop one counter for that jab, it could be a parry cross, it could be a parry jab, all right? It could be a, a shield and jab back, right? Something like this is going to help you get the upper hand on your opponent. Because many times, especially when we are in our first fights, we all we think about is attack, 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 right? So having a counter attack for one of the most basic and most common and most useful weapons, which is the jab, is going to give you an upper hand on your first fight. Criteria number four, we want to build ourselves up to the fight day, to the fight type of mindset. And how do we do this? By getting the fundamentals down in our training. And when I mean in our training, I'm not talking about the actual techniques. I'm talking about making sure that you're consistent in your training and you're going to master these three fundamental tools. The first one, shadow boxing. When we first get into a gym, we might feel awkward shadow boxing. We've never done it before. But as you train it more and more and more, next thing you know, you're shadow boxing in the bathroom, you're shadow boxing in public, you're shadow boxing everywhere because now you feel comfortable. We want to build that type of 
feeling comfortable when we come into the ring. So then that way we're not super, super nervous, even though I'm not going to lie for most people, you're always going to get nervous when you get into the ring. All right. So especially if it's one of your first fights, so don't get too much in your head. Like, Oh, I feel nervous. It's completely normal. It's completely normal. You're going to do great. Now, tool number two, we want to be able to hit the heavy bag effectively, right? Learn how to use the heavy bag. The heavy bag is one of the best tools that we can use, especially because we can, we don't need anybody. We can do it by ourselves. So make sure that you have good footwork, make sure that you have good distance for your weapons, hitting the heavy bag with the bones, nice and solid, piercing the heavy bag. These things and these tools are very important for you to master or at least become more comfortable with before we step into the ring. We need to have nice shadow boxing, good footwork, feel comfortable with the shadow boxing, feel comfortable hitting the heavy bag. And then after that, we're going to be going into tool number three that is going to be partner work. It doesn't matter if you are new to the game or old to the game, you need that partner work. You need to be able to drill with a partner. You can train all you want. You can do watch all the videos that you want. I myself have an online academy where I coach everyday people and also fighters, amateur fighters that want to go above and beyond or just get in shape. And the reality is that even though I can teach the right techniques, I can help you build a custom training plan for you. You need to be able to put it on a person. You need to be able to do partner work to see the real distance, to see how the punches, how the kicks are going to land. So we need to be able to transition to a real life situation. And one of the best ways and one of the first steps to do it is through partner work. Even if your partner is just shielding, and you're taking turns, then that's going to be the first step to feel comfortable with that partner work and then be able to put it into the ring. But before you get into the ring, there is one other step and that's going to be sparring. You need to be able to have a variation. So even if you are doing the partner work and you are feeling comfortable with the shadow box and the heavy back, and you feel like, oh man, I can fight. Well, every time you do these things, you know what's happening. There's no variation of somebody trying to take your head off, right? And that's why you need the sparring. And I'm not saying to spar super hard and try to take each other's heads off, but what I'm saying is that we need that variation where we allow our body and our mind to react in the moment, to react in the moment and be able to have a feeling, a sense of distance and timing being challenged, right? Because every time we do partner work, bag work, pad work, right? Shadow boxing, for the most part, we're completely in control and there's no variation of like, we don't know what's happening, right? But in sparring, there's a lot more variation. We don't know what the, uh, the, our friend, our training partner is gonna throw. We don't know when they're gonna throw it. We don't know where they're gonna throw it, right? So we need to be more aware and trust our training and be able to react and adapt in the moment. And that's one of the biggest uh, parts of fighting, especially really, really successful fighters. They're able to adapt quickly in the moment and make strategies to beat the opponent, right? So we need to be able to practice that in sparring. Again, I'm not saying to spar super, super hard, but we need to be able to have sparring sessions and feel comfortable in sparring sessions. I don't know how many stories I've gotten about places that, for example, I've done seminars and I've had quote unquote black belts come up to me and say, I, I feel scared sparring. How do I get used to sparring and all these things? And there is a method to it. But for me, even though in Muay Thai, there is no black belts or anything like that, it's just overwhelming in my head how somebody can have all these skills but not be able to put them into action because they're so scared to actually do it right so that's why if you truly want to feel comfortable in the ring comfortable being, comfortable being able to fight you need to be able to work yourself up to it by getting good at the basics and making sure that we use the proper training tools how i said shadow boxing heavy bag doing our partner work and doing our sparring work and allowing ourselves to build ourselves up to being able to actually fight and put those into the ring. And to give you a bonus criteria or something that we really want to do to take ourselves above and beyond, especially 
for that first fight is have a proper training camp. Take it serious. Make sure that you're dedicated, going to the gym, working with your coach, eating well, sleeping well, staying focused, all right? Making every training session. Get a proper training camp. Making sure that we are hitting pads, right? Hitting pads is one of the best cardios that you can get because the pad holder, if they're a good pad holder, they're going to challenge your base. They're going to challenge your distance, your timing. And if they put a lot of pad work uh, combinations or a lot of pad work, not just combinations, but pressure on you where you have to kick a lot, punch a lot, that's going to uh, put your cardio up and it's going to take your breath away because you're going on their timing. You're going on their timing and they're just pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. So having a proper training camp, making sure that we work on our cardio, making sure that we hit the pads and we get comfortable with sparring is going to really, really help you be super, super ready when it comes to that first fight. Thank you for watching all the way through. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video. Thank you everybody for the amazing, amazing support. Let me know in the comments below if you do have any questions or if you're already preparing for your first fight, maybe I can help you out in the comments. Thank you guys and see you guys next time. Thank you for watching all the way through. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Special thank you to our VIP students and super fan. Our channel wouldn't be possible without your constant support. If you have not become part of our team, what are you waiting for? Get access to my most exclusive training videos. See you in the next one. Stay iron strong.